Hello everyone, I am Kesh Vishnu Priyan pursuing graduate diploma in IT networking in Nelson Margo Institute of Technology in Global Campus which is located in Auckland. This screencasting of video is about a project which I am doing in the course NET702 Cloud Services. The project name is Creating Highly Available System in Cloud which is done using AWS that is Amazon Web Services and comprises of 10 labs in total. Due to our lab course, due to the tight schedules, each student has been allocated each lab and published all the labs with necessary steps as a blog for the assessment process. I have been assigned lab 2 using RDS with ASP.NET application, which I should perform the screencasting and I have attached all the instructions necessary for completing this lab 2 in the below description with the blogs and software links which you can also prepare the, to, do the, to, do the, to do this lab by your own. The softwares which we required are six softwares which I mentioned here. The softwares and the NET702 folder which is provided from our institution and we need the AWS account for doing all the instances. Now sign in into your AWS account. Here we must create the RDS instance. All the instructions for performing the lab 2 is there in the Word document which I will attach in the below YouTube description. First we must create a MySQL RDS instance. Already I have completed this lab so all the things which we should do will be created by me. For you guys, I'm going to demonstrate this a MySQL Aurora. Select its dev test. We must select next step. Then in this, we must provide the general public license MySQL Aurora. And the DB instance is T2 Micro, and uh, multi AC deployment is yes. And DB instance identifier, the name as we is given in now. It's not necessary. You must provide the same name. It's our wish but for user friendly purpose and for the future reference I am using the same thing master username admin admin It's not necessary to follow me with the same usernames and password. You can create your own login IDs. Now we can create a new security group, which I'll show you in the next step, which is present here. And we don't need backup for doing this. So I'll create this zero. Sorry. Like zero and I'll click launch DB instance since I already created it I'm not going to select it and your our instances if you want to see the security groups of this group just right click it see details then you can see the security group once we have created the RDS instances and the security groups inbound rules we must provide our our IP address by giving the MySQL Aurora this word I added MySQL Aurora with our IP address my IP yeah then save it once we are done with the first step we must copy the Dynastore DB instance detail copy the endpoint string and go to the RDS instance security group set the inbound rules which we are done and in MySQL workbench add a new connection to connect with the new database so we must have installed MySQL workbench and I have already connected uh, installed the connections and I will show you connection name is AWS Dino Store AWS Dino Store and uh, this is where we should place our RDS instance which we created and we must copy that where is that 
here the instance is provided here and don't forget don't copy this 3306 and we can delete it during the no space it here if you're typing that remember you don't your RDS instance will not get connected and this one gives the same thing for user friendliness so in we'll always try to store your password involved so that like it will not ask you again and again okay and uh, kindly test the connection before you start doing this for that yeah we got a successful connection okay since I already created I'll open it now we need the basic data for the tables for our website so we are going to import the SQL script for creating the data data into the scheme which I already done it but I'll just show you where we can import it file open SQL script 8702 and this is the script we need to open once that is done the required products the table will be imported and the required products we can import it using the open SQL script this one is the script file we can get the tables inside this these are the things and once this table is collected we can select build and all this table will be auto generated uh, the links which we provided all this has been completed in the lab one and once MySQL is done we need to create the replica process in MySQL workbench and also RBDB instance with Dinostore RV instance replica which I already done I'll show that the instances Here, the Dynastore replica. If you want, you can select this and create free replica. This process, all I have mentioned in my blog, which you can have a glance to get better understanding. Um, the next step will be in Visual Studio. We must edit the web config, web config file for giving the RDS instance link here and also the default ASPX. So I'll go to the web config file and these are the three lines you need to paste the RDS instance this line this three lines and here also we must not mention the dot three three zero six port number and we must ins we must defaultly only two lines will be present and you must add this one more line for the SQL DB replica. It's mainly to provide a replication for our main server. In a, if suppose our main server is down, our replica server will take over and provide us a web server at whatever time we need. And in the default ASPX file, we need to provide the score store SQL DB replica here, in the connection strings, and we must also don't forget to add the new get packets when we are doing the Visual Studio. So once we completed this editing steps to check whether our Dinostore DB replica and our ordered items is working, we just need to build the program. So once the default.aspx.cx file is edited with the store SQL DB replica, this extension, and after that the web config should be edited with the correct RDS links and the user ID and the password which is very important for this lab to persist so once that's done we need to build the project build the project then open it in the browser
now we can create a new user Vishnu and last name it's Vishnu mailing address we as a genuine Vishnu want to be from the welcome mailing city it's Auckland mailing state or province um, before checking this I'll just show you the MySQL work branch there is no members in this table at present you can see here this is the table which will be populated once we create the new user so uh, now I'll show you the adding of user mailing state province Auckland mailing postal code it's Auckland sorry 1025 then next username it's Vishnu 1234 pa confirm password yeah Vishnu 1234 security question hey, something like that security answer hi it's just for some Vishnu Korean 1234 at gmail.com yep then create user Yeah, it's all done now we have created the user we can go and check in my school database whether the new user has been created yep we need to refresh this yeah now if we go to membership dot data and click this yeah the new user what we type now the user account has been created now once the user account has been created we need to do the next step which is to right click on your primary cloud server and reboot it with failover so to do that step we can go to our RDS then right click on the instance reboot reboot with failover reboot it yeah this one is rebooting during this time we should go and try refreshing or opening our website to check whether it's working properly so we can go and open our website for debugging open in our browser this is a previous instance I'll close that now we are refreshing this we don't need to find any sort of interruption in our web page yeah our web page is fine well and good so finally check your website by refreshing the page it's still ok and why try logging in using the credentials what we are given so we will try to log in once log in through our dino store Vishnu Pain 1234 and Remember B now I am trying to log in once we have created a user account then only the login button will show previously before that it will not be appeared so we will be logged into our dino store lab now yep you can see that now the login button pops out so finally we have completed our lab too successfully thank you friends take care have a nice day